this is gonna sound like this. <laughs> Jen and her giant cup. You guys, are you guys having some coffee? <laughs> also, just like the the classiest of all uh, yeah. poultry, the mallard. <laughs> <laughs> so this loon cup is from my grandma. <laughs> Did you call it a loon cup? Yeah, is it a loon? <laughs> We're going full on. It's a full loon. On. It is sure. a loon, yeah. but it's like I mean, you, I mean, if you're you're like going into a uh, golden sense. pond for sure so grandma weeks gave me an entire set of these dishes of loon dishes and yeah. uh and they're they're they were I mean, when i went to college they're giant like the bowls were really big and stuff and we passed those down i think like maybe eight people use that set man and i kept i think we have two of the cups the <laughs> loons live forever the the oh my loons. gosh i love it but I remember somebody gave, she had, they had a place in Hilton Head and they had friends stay with them. And as a thank you gift, the woman like sent her this loon dish set. <laughs> and my grandma being like, who sends somebody like in their sixties, like a dish set? Like obviously I have a dish set. It was funny. <laughs> this whole time she's just been for years, just eating out of her hands. She needed I them. know. She was just like, okay. Yeah. We're just, we're, real. we're jumping in. I mean, yeah. Ursula and Alex are like, we're here. We're ready to roll. <laughs> we're very, very specific loon uh, dish topics. Uh, yeah. That is not the theme of the night. Not at all. It will be the theme next week, though. <laughs> yeah. Loons. Make a note. <laughs> loons. Um, everybody, hello. Hello, Ursula. Hello, Alex, for Hold hanging up. out. Appreciate it. For those of you who are, like, joining us later, um, I'm Kelsey, and this is, there you are. This hey. is Jen. <laughs> Jen. Yeah, my hand in a good place for one. Like, <laughs> We're doing a virtual we, write-in. We are here to do a virtual write-in, not just laugh at Loon Cups. Um, Kelsey, how are you? How is your writing going? Um, not great. So that's why I'm really <laughs> glad that we're meeting weekly because at least I'm getting a chance to write. So I don't know if I've updated uh, YouTube on this, but I sort of have shifted gears during the pandemic and I'm not really doing comedy stuff. So I'm doing more uh, corporate stuff. And so I'm doing a lot of like uh, corporate copywriting. Mm -hmm. um, and that's sort of taken my brain space away from, um, you know, the my my own personal joke style writing. Yeah. So I'm really glad that we're meeting because I feel like besides like the Camp NaNoWriMo, which we've mentioned briefly, like having those like deadlines and having like a, 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 an accountable space to write. I'm just not doing it, man. And I even have like a star chart where I give myself like little circle dots and the writing section is looking pretty sad. So it's full like, confession. It's like, Kelsey, why? They're so bad. <laughs> I so know. Sad. Um, How about you? I mean, now um, that I've confessed. No, I, I'm kind of the same. I'm I'm sort of knee deep in the the Story Studio Writers Festival plug, <laughs> and um, you know, this is this is sort of my get really busy with it and stuff like that. And then also, I'm working on a project with Fraser, which I'll announce eventually. Um, so, oh my god, typical YouTuber. You're like, I can't talk about the project. I'm just yet. Talk about it. <laughs> Oh, Ursula and Alice, if you're, are they just rolling their eyes? I love them. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but I am, so I am doing some stuff uh, and I'm busy as my dad, but it's, I, I haven't really been focusing on my writing, which is a bummer because I was doing really well in the earlier part of the summer, but it's okay. I feel like it ebbs and flows and this is just kind of the time. But I'm again, I'm super happy that we're doing this because it sort of forces me to get words out. Yeah. So it's Jen, great. and anybody can answer this in the comment section, of course, like when you are here, do you have like a, a goal in mind? Like, are you like looking for a word, like a, a word count or are you looking for pages or are you just looking for like general character development? I think I'm just kind of looking to get my pen flowing at this point. I think a lot of times in the early, you know, when we were doing it a couple of months ago, I was often like, I'm working on the short story or I'm working on this specific thing. And I still have stuff that's kind of like cooking, but I'm not really actively working on it. So at this point, I'm just kind of like whatever happens, happens, which is really yeah. kind of fun. I need to do that more often. Yeah. So you're having like uh, some freedom and see what you can find. Yeah. What about you? Are you do you have anything specific? No, I used to, I was going, you know, like I was really trying to go for, I'm not more of a, like a word count kind of gal. I'm just like a time chunk kind of gal yeah. because I'm not working on something long and, and sort of a massive, like a, like a novel. I'm either, either doing jokes or short stories. Mm -hmm. So it was really just sitting down. And then what I really want to do is like go back and like also build in the, the drafting process. So like, okay, you have 30 minutes to write and then you have 15 minutes to, to, to edit. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Oh, look at Alice is working on, uh, working on revisions, which is pretty cool. Oh, I find, nice. I don't know if like you guys find this, but I find like revisions to be so hard. I'm really excited about yeah. the drafting process and like the, the generating. And so 
And so the other stuff is a little hard. And I just wanted to give a shout out to Laura and Emily. She's here and she loves Tom Servo. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Sorry. I was doing shout outs. So if anybody, uh, you know, throughout the writing process here, if you want to put in like any of your goals in the comment section, anything yeah. to like inspire anybody, because I do feel like I'm getting a little overwhelmed with life. And, you know, one of the reasons that Jen and I wanted to do this virtual write and stuff is to one, be accountable and to like be inspired by people on the internet. So Absolutely. if you're having any wins, let us know so yeah. we can. <laughs> and I want to know what people are working on too, like what you're getting out of, like, you know, what you come here looking for and stuff. I just always, I'm really fascinated by other people's process and what they, you know, what they're looking for and getting done. Yeah. So um, our goal is to always make this under an hour. So this is like a, a, a quick in. So Jen, if you yeah. want to, um, if you want to explain uh, our virtual writing, what we do, I will get us ready with the timer and we can just rock and roll. For sure. We're going to do three uh, writing sprints tonight. We're going to do a five minute, a 10 minute and a 15 minute. We have a prompt for each one. You can take or leave the prompt, uh, you know, use it, change it up, whatever you want to do with it. Um, and we just encourage you to do what we call free writing, which is like, let the pen flow or let your fingers go on the typewriter and just <laughs> the typewriter, uh, your <laughs> keyboard or an old fashioned typewriter if you want, or, you know, your quill, uh, whatever you want to do, <laughs> no judgments and, uh, just kind of see what comes out and have fun with it. You guys, I got a new computer and I, are you finding it that this five minute timer is like weird? It was, it was fine. And then it just kind of went up a little bit. Huh? Okay. Yeah, there well, you go. Well, now, now it's perfect. That looks good. Okay. Sorry, y'all. Um, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but I was like, oh, oh I ruined, I ruined it. Okay. Um, so. Okay. Yeah, I think it's good. All right. We're going to start with a five minutes writing prompt. So here it is. Um, describe your favorite or least favorite holiday dessert. Describe your favorite or least favorite holiday dessert. Five minutes. And again, five minutes. And again, all these are in the description box. And if you want to go off topic, it's your, it's your life. <laughs> do what That's you want right. to do. Do you. On your, do you. On your marks, get set, right?
can you hear me? Muted myself. I muted oh, myself. Oh, there you go. I'm yeah, sorry. sorry about that. That's okay. No, nope. no. I um. So here's the thing. It, I'm I'm learning because I do have this new computer. That's hence the new angle and setup. So I can't bounce back from this view and the Google timer view. So otherwise, the the timer moves up. So sorry about that, everybody who's watching. If you were like, ah, the timer's off center. It was um, fine though. I didn't notice. It looks the answer yeah. to me. I, I recentered it. I had to fix it, Got but it, it wasn't for the first. So anybody, if anybody's screaming at the at the computer, we will we will be fixed for the next round. I'll just um, and do this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to distract. Yeah, yeah. But I wanted to uh, just show because I wanted to do this. Everybody's so supportive in our comment section. I love this. Look at this, Ursula. Oh, this is like Ursula, right before. That's awesome. Yeah, oh. so awesome indeed. And look at all. I mean, come on. Ursula, I love it. Let us know where it was published. Yeah, that's a great idea. Um, uh, so I, before we jumped into like how everybody did on this prompt and like, you know, I just wanted to, to do to do yeah, comment no, shout out. Yeah, fantastic. And uh, yeah. Ursula, I, we chat on Twitter sometimes. I'm going to reach out to you because I've been starting to do some flash fiction. So we should we should chat about it. Connections being made. I love it. So what did everybody do? What did, we, what did we find here? I know that we usually typically on the five minute kind of just like get a brain list yeah. going and just blah, blah. What did you find anything interesting? So much, you know, I basically just kind of, um, you know, my sort of least favorite is like those dessert, uh, those birthday store bought cakes, like with the really thick frosting and all that. My mom always gets them. She really likes them. And they're just always like, um, <laughs> I just don't like it. <laughs> I, I came to a conclusion a couple years ago. I was like, I just don't really like cake that much. Mm. Uh, some cake, but like most cakes, no. And, uh, and then I went on this whole rant. Like, I don't like meringue. I don't like crunchy sugar things like marzipan. Um, yeah. Stuff like that. But I really, really like uh, Christmas cookies. That's my favorite. Okay. Yeah. You like Christmas sure. cookies. Is it the making yeah. of it? Is it just like the, the sparkly color? Or is it just the season? It's sort of, there's two, my two favorite cookies are like ones we make, like the sort of the buttery cookies, cookie, uh, I can't talk, Christmas cookies, and then the Hershey Kisses, the peanut butter ones, which are, I think a lot of you, but I love, I guess my husband you know, works in the school and so like that. So we, we often get like tins of cookies for that oh, other yeah. people have made. And it's this great little like treasure box of like, what did they make? And it's all this different stuff. And it just like gives you this insight into like what people's, life is like 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 what christmas cookies they make every year and you're like it's oh interesting, interesting. To like watch yeah because like i always make a lot of people make the peanut butter kisses and you'll get some of you be like why did they use a caramel hershey kiss that's so <laughs> gross <laughs> like why would you do that you ruined it <laughs> I love it. Well, I think we got a lot of this too. Like, um, I feel like there's some strong connections uh, to like that, right? You're like, "Ew, why is that so gross? That's gross. Why would you do it? Like some, some real distinct feelings toward these foods. Uh, yeah. And we have an example. Ah. One. <laughs> yeah. Disgusting salad. Oh, yeah. I, uh, we got, we got a lot of anti-mayonnaise up in here. <laughs> I but, little mayonnaise, but those salads are nasty. Yeah. Well, jar, I feel yeah. like, yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like um, the Midwest, I started writing that. I'm like, because, you know, like Jason's family has uh, in the holidays, like more traditions. He His family's like uh, Polish and they have like Wigilia. So they have these like very traditional dishes and like that. And, uh, my family is just like Midwestern, like, yeah, yeah, put ranch dressing and mayonnaise on everything and call it a dish. So I, my mom's like, Lauren, chop the same. potatoes up and like cook them with mayonnaise and bake it. Yeah. <laughs> But I was finding that I was coming back to um, Easter candy and Halloween candy because of like the hunt. For some reason, I found that I really liked the like the sort of the pagan ritual to like find your food. <laughs> you know? And you then I was like, it, oh, you better dig it up in the yard. You better dig. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? That'd be interesting. A character who constantly hides and has to find food. And then I was like, that's Nancy Huffman. <laughs> <laughs> That's your mom. <laughs> no lies. There's no lies there. She yeah. hides it herself and makes a game up. For, yeah. My mom hides food around. She always she's doing it. she's doing Halloween all the time here. Yeah. Uh, we got another we got another word count oh, shout out. Very, very nice. On how I hate most desserts. Yeah. Well, I do feel like if desserts were painful for you, I understand. Um, I have the opposite where it's like if there's not sugar somewhere in the food I'm eating, I'm like, you taste like trash. <laughs> Like I really got to yeah, get better yeah, yeah. at that. Yeah, yeah. All and right, well, that, we did it. This is good. It was interesting to see. Yeah, I mean, I think people have like really strong. 
you know, like vivid memories attached to like desserts, you know, which is interesting. Yeah. And I think too, like if we're writing a bigger, a longer piece or even like a flash fiction, y'all like having this as a backstory to a character or have them interact with a food that reminds them of something painful or something exciting from childhood. I think you're right, Jen, much like the tin of chocolate cookies or Christmas cookies, it can be very revealing of a character of what and why, what kind of dessert and why they, they like it. Yeah. 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 Nice. That's very interesting. Should we jump into our, our next one? Let's do it. So guys, okay. this is gonna be a 10 minutes and here is your writing prompt. Your character bakes a cake with a secret ingredient inside. What is it and what happens next? Your character makes a cake with a secret ingredient inside. What is it and what happens next? I am just having the roughest time with this new... Apologies, everyone. Okay. Keep, you keep writing. You don't need my timer to stop you. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll start now and you guys have yeah. a little extra time. All right, a little extra. go. Okay, it's official.
Okay. We did it. Nice. So, what do you think? What did you What did you get on this on this bad boy? Uh, that was fun. You know, I spent some time. I think I often do this. I spent uh, a bunch of time just kind of working my way up to it. So it was a lot of just the making of the cake. She's making kind of like a, a meringue. So it was like spending the time on the you know whipping the egg white and the sugar uh, to get like those stiff peaks and. Um, your husband kind of yelling. Stiff peaks. You can tell. Room, I can you know, tell you're delicious. watching some British baking show. <laughs> That's right. I watched some British baking show, um, which is weird. Like I don't like meringue at all, but for some reason, yeah, like, there's too much meringue. Too much meringue. meringue. Show, and I'm like, oh, and it's like, and crunches. it's like that hard meringue. Like you cut into it, and it like crunches, and they yeah. love it. <laughs> it's gross. Um, yeah, so it was a lot of that, and then uh, she just started, you know, pulls a little little vial out from her pocket and starts to drip it in. <laughs> so, so your secret ingredient was the old poison roux. I mean, probably that's where my mind. I didn't really label it, but you know, it was just a lot of fun of like uh, dripping in and like you know, it's like colorless, but there's a tiny bit of an odor, so like masking the odor with like lemon and you know stuff like that. I love it. it. <laughs> so you kind of got into you got into the alchemy of it a bit, like the actual process. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Right on. Like she's just like adding it in, like it's another ingredient. Yeah, you know, like, real cash, real cash, real cash. <laughs> got Laura and Emily. Got some stuff here. Oh, not oh a king cake. Yeah, it's a good start. I mean, that's just without the king cake, just that sentence alone. I'm really afraid I'm going to swallow the baby. <laughs> When you don't know it's about dessert, it can be like, what is happening? Um, <laughs> yeah. That show does, that show is the best. Yeah. Um, what about you, Kelsey? Um, oh, Ursula, you I like your style. Uh, <laughs> no right. idea where that came from. It came from a good place, Ursula. That's where that's it came right. from. Yeah. Finish the page. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and we got Alley Cat here. Just want to say hi to Alley Cat. Hi, Alley Cat. Um, yeah, so I started off... Um, I was really like not trying to go to like a murder place. I really wasn't. Start out with a mom who was uh, this it, Jeremiah Jr. was always a picky eater. Was the first line I had, and I'm like, all right, we're just gonna go from there. So she's like trying to constantly like put vegetables and things into his food, and then as the story progresses, her like sister and and her sister in law come over and they're very judgy because she's not doing a great job as a mom or whatever. And then it reveals is like she's a single mom. Why is she single? Her husband died. Or how did her husband die? He wasn't so picky of an eater. <laughs> so we went in the same direction. We went in the same direction. That cake? Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, uh, yeah. And it, it turns into like, how, how does the how does the woman who's stuck in this situation, you know, isn't it strange too that that, you know, there is like a connection with like women and food and like the the old I don't know poison. I was really trying to avoid it, but it got there, and I really liked it how how it ended. She was like, if I knew I was pregnant at the time, I don't know if I would have made the same choice. But in the end, when she's confessing, she totally would. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. So, so yeah. I, I thought maybe the kid was a picky eater because he knew something. Like, he, mm. you know, he wasn't born yet. You know, it's like um, we've yeah. always lived in the castle, that Shirley mm -hmm. Jackson novel, where it's, uh, the young, the girl, Maricat, she's like not allowed to put any, she's not allowed to help with the, with the food at all. Like, she can't come in the kitchen, she can't touch food. You know, and there's that whole thing it's like, why? Why? Um, yeah. Dun dun dun. That's yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Um, so yeah, some it was it was cool. I don't know if I'm gonna do anything with it, but it's uh, again a good yeah, study in like finding finding some sort of also like emotional arc. And like I'm not as great as like building long bits of tension because stand up like there's a breath of tension, and then you have to kind of get to it, right? Right. A right. punchline has to happen. There's only so much tension, so it's a good exercise for me to like why Ooh, what's gonna happen yeah. to really try to stretch Spend it out a little far it, yeah 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 um and thank you ursula everybody everybody's so supportive i just freaking right. love our comment section you know, just speaking of tension if anybody's looking to see great examples, i just started reading uh raul Dahl has a ton of short stories i have like his you know what they call the omnibus or whatever um he does a really great job of pulling that tension out and those short stories like it goes on forever um <laughs> But like not in a bad way, you know, because they're yeah. short and they're pretty punchy and, you know, um, yeah, it's, uh, he, he's a good one to look out for that. Okay. For, for some tension exercises. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's Great. Just his, like his adult short stories, not his kid stuff. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Good. I, I'm always looking for stuff. I've got, 
I've got an obscene amount of books from the library, but that doesn't mean I'm not like, bring them more on. We, more I on. took back, I think, 35 books to the library today. <laughs> what? I had no idea we had that many. From, it was from the summer. We just kept renewing some of it. I was like, this is really unacceptable. It's <laughs> unacceptable. We've gone over. We've gone over. It was a lot. It was a lot. Okay. Are we ready for the, for the big 15 minute? Yeah. I'm, we're ready. All, All right. right. 15 minutes less prompt. For one day, your character is in charge of running a local bakery. How is their day? For one day, your character is in charge of running a local bakery. How does their day go? And get ready. Go. I almost said on your marks because said bake. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, great. I actually caught it, which is, I usually let, nice. let it go and go and go. You guys know, you can hear it all. <laughs> <laughs> I do love a good 15 minute one. You know, if we had more time on our hands, I know that this is available in other spaces on YouTube, but I would love to just do all 15 minute ones, but that's not, so yeah. I oh, wish you try it sometime. Yeah, I this just. a bonus one. We could do it really like, you know, yeah, Let's just chat. like, hello, boom, right, boom, boom. hello, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What did everybody find in the comment section or also just, you know, Jen, with your with your mouth section? <laughs> Gross. Don't call it that. <laughs> there you go. Um, anytime we have a faux pas, blue cap. So I, yeah, I don't know. I just, I just, I, I would challenge myself to just stop trying to control it and just let it go. So what about the sort of teenage kid named Melvin who uh, was at his like dad, his family bakery at like 4.45 in the morning and his dad's really sick and he's like, you got to take it over for the day. And he's just, you know, doesn't even know where to start. He's been, he used to work there when he was a kid, but he's been pulling away because he wants to work at the country club now and like, you know, be a golf caddy and like do the big wigs and he's embarrassed as his dad and yeah. the whole thing. And now he's like running it. So yeah, it's just, it was interesting. Just a lot of, you know, going into detail about the bakery and, you know, all that kind of stuff. It was fun. Yeah, right on. You know, it's so funny. I went like YA a bit myself. I don't know how young your yeah. person was, but yeah, I started out in the car. Um, uh, and I just had like, all right, I like to start with like dialogue for some reason that like helps me out. Yeah. Um, and it's, uh, so it's like most parents just take away their kid's phone or something. Uh, it's what I had this kid say and it turns out she got and I just was like all right go <laughs> and it turns out she had she got in trouble for doing like some kind of street art I don't know she's very mad and she hates that she's mad but she got in trouble and this is somehow community service I don't quite understand why <laughs> like working in a bakery is community bakery, service get in there, some donuts. yeah um, I'm not quite sure if it's like uh, like a community thing you know yeah. what I mean if it's like I'm not I don't have that worked out yet but like um yeah so it's interesting you're just like finding out Talk, talking about this girl and like why she's so angry and why this is a punishment. So of course, typical me, she just gets in the door and then the 15 minutes are up, <laughs> you know? That's how yeah. I was like, it just like, it turned five o'clock and then somebody yeah. walked in and that's yeah. as as I got, yeah. Awesome. Well, Ursula is saying that this, this is um, oh, nice. going to turn into something. That's awesome. Yeah. Awesome is right. Yeah. Um, and short stories. I do love this. I do Mine feel like, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I just finished reading. I know I talked to you before, but um, uh, I have another short story book. It's not Maeve Binchy, even though I'm like totally obsessed with her at the moment. Uh, shoot, see if I can find it. I can't remember. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'm obsessed with them too. I feel like also I like to read a little bit before I go to bed just to like yeah. calm my brain. And I think short stories are just like perfect. perfect. Yeah. Or I can like pick it up during the day and feel like I like read something or, you know, like if you leave in the middle, you can come back to it and you haven't like completely lost it. Yeah. 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 I've gotten really into them in the last few years. Yeah. Me too. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice I love job. it. Half pace cruising along. I love it. I love it. I love it too. Um, so, uh, yeah, I feel like this is great. I know that like, sometimes we do these themes and like, I would definitely never like put my character in a bakery. I don't know, but yeah. I feel like it is this so is helpful. Fun. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, even thinking that way is like, okay, I would never like think of it. Sometimes I, I, it's so funny because in stand up, I feel like I can talk about the mundane or something really simple. But when it comes to stories, I think it's kind of new to me. I feel like it has to be this, like, it can't just be like a snapshot of a moment in someone's life or, or it has to be like yeah. high drama. It's like, no, it could just be like a girl who's Quiet. going through some, yeah. 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 She's like, has to figure out how to make this cupcake. Otherwise she's going to get you know, a detention or whatever, you know what I mean? Like it can be a small thing. Um, it's a good reminder. I yeah, think. Yeah. The stakes don't always have to be so massive. I think I get yeah. in that too, where I'm like, the stakes, the conflict has to be so high and so intense. But then you're like, no, it really doesn't. If it means that much to them, it can mm -hmm. be anything. Yeah. yeah. And that's what I kind of love about those like short story moments is sometimes they are, they're like this intense thing happened to this person, but sometimes it's just like they went, to the bus stop today and yeah. this happened, you yeah. know? Yeah. Which I think is cool. Yeah. So seven o'clock, I mean, eight o'clock is almost here. Um, we, uh, have not decided yet when we want to do these again, are we, we're keeping them in the evenings, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So we're just in September. We'll be rocking the same, same time and place just so everybody who's like listening 
Uh, yeah, we'll be here. yeah, yeah, that works for me. All right, Yahoo. Yay. Um, well, thanks everybody for joining us now. And if you're watching later, thanks for that, Jen. We always like to leave with some uh, words of a uh, wisdom, a takeaway moment. Uh, I know we already touched upon the cup. <laughs> I didn't. Yeah. I hope. I hope we didn't steal. I did tell my, my loon cup story. Um, <laughs> okay, was that your end? Oh no, I hope we didn't. Meringue is gross. Um, <laughs> That's what I got for you. If it's crunchy, like that's gross. Yeah. <laughs> Debate me if you want, but I don't like it. <laughs> all right. You've taken a stance, you guys. She's taken a stance. Like um, all right. Well, say pan is also gross. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just so the two M desserts you're not a fan yeah, of. I yeah. I don't like it. Oh, like awesome. It. Well, thanks, everybody. Fake frosting. I'm going to stop now. <laughs> I know. I, I, thought, I, keep, I thought that was dumb. But you're like, oh, no, there's more things I hate. There's so many gross things. <laughs> So this isn't really so much advice. This is just like a, yeah, a gross, like a list a of gross. Gross rant, yeah. Okay, gross rant. All right. We're done. Well, thank you everybody for joining thanks, us. We'll guys. be here next uh, next, Monday. next Monday. Same time, same place. Yep, sounds good. Okay. Bye. See you next week.